All right, guys, so today I want to do something a little bit different. This is going to, we're going to show you all the 50s from every MX versus ATV game. And when I decided I wanted to do this kind of a video, I was thinking to myself, you know, what MX versus ATV games had the 50? And when I thought about it, I kept thinking, in my mind, I felt like there were more MX versus ATV games that had the 50, but there really are only four. Five if you count Supercross, but for the sake of this uh, this video, Supercross and Supercross Encore are going to be counted as the same because they're very, very similar. Uh, Encore is just kind of a an upgraded version of Supercross. A better version, but uh, I just kind of don't really count Supercross. So, yes, this is MX vs. ATV Unleashed, and I do have a favorite. I will show you my favorite, but everything else for me at least, was equal. They all had their better parts, their not as good parts, but uh, yeah, I, I, it's not really a list from worst to best, but uh, I do have a favorite. So uh, for Unleashed here, the 50, for me at least, was what made it really good or really fun in the game was, yeah, it was fun to ride around on a 50, the modes it had, the tracks it had, the to go out and free ride with it, the maps they had were fantastic. We've already said that many times. It had a lot of short tracks, which worked really, really well, were built for the 50. It, it was just, those tracks and those maps made it really, really fun to ride around on the 50cc. So, not to say that using the 50 itself isn't fun, but I felt like the 50 in Unleashed was probably the easiest bike or the easiest uh, version of the 50 to to kind of to use, to play with in the game. Uh, it didn't have an insane clutch boost. It did have preload. But, I don't know, it's just really easy to learn to play with it. And I know it's coming from arcade games, so it's not like any of them are really that difficult to use. Uh, although, Alive was kind of tough, especially if you didn't play Alive a lot, but... Uh, we'll talk about that when we get there. So I feel like it was the easiest to use. What made it the best, or what made it really good, in my opinion, it was the maps and the the short tracks, the free ride maps and the short tracks. So, uh, yes, here is MX vs ATV Unleashed, the 50cc, the first one in this uh, 50cc list. All right, so here we have MX vs. ATV Untamed. This is actually my favorite version of the 50 from any MX vs. ATV game. Uh, similar to what we said about Unleashed, I guess. I kind of might be repeating myself with what I already said with uh, Unleashed. It had really good maps. It had really good free ride open world maps, uh, which were fun to go in with the 50 or for any bike or quad or whatever for that matter of fact. It had the two dedicated mini moto maps, which were really fun to play. Uh, not as many as Unleashed, but they were really good. They were really good. They had, you could go ride Enduro Cross on it. And I feel like the 50 in Untamed had a great balance between being really fun and easy to play because it's an arcade game and being a little bit difficult it had you know to you didn't have to preload on everything you had to you had to carry speed it uh to hit the right preload to not over jump it was fairly easy to crash in this game um a few tricks you could do to 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 stop that similar with uh, every game but it was tough you did crash fairly easy and it had some sections where um, more specifically, the second map you're going to see here where you got kind of squirrely. You got a little bit squirrely. It was hard to, you know, it was really easy to get out of control, I guess. So, uh, th that also made it kind of difficult. It just, it had a good balance between being fun and having a small, I don't know if learning curve is the right word, but it was tough, you know, you just, it was a different game. And I feel like the game in general People have said it, and I do agree with you, that it was a very underrated MX vs. ATV game. I don't know if a lot of people didn't didn't play this one, didn't know about it, but I feel like it was very underrated, and I feel like the 50 is very underrated, and uh, 
out of all the games that I've ever played, this game and Supercross on <coughs> this game and Supercross Encore had the most requests to see the 50. So I feel like a lot of you guys kind of enjoyed the 50 in this game as well and Super and Supercross Encore, but uh, we're talking about Untamed. So yes, Untamed in general, the game felt very underrated. I feel like it's a much better game than it gets credit for. I know it, it wasn't my first on my list of best MX versus ATV games, but I did enjoy it. I really did love this game. This is my original copy of the game. I didn't go out and buy another one. Uh, it was on the Xbox 360. All the progress, everything. I mean, I played hundreds, if not thousands of hours on this game when I was younger when it came out. So this would have been kind of the height of my younger days playing motocross games specifically mx vs atv so yes the 50 in untamed is my favorite version from any mx vs atv game so this is a live this is gonna be the theme of this part of the video alive was for me the hardest mx vs atv game i mean it was tough. It was it was a very tough MX versus ATV game, and it was the game that I had the least amount of time in. So that probably didn't help, but it was a very tough game. And this 50 was the hardest to use in any MX versus ATV game for me. I'm not even going to say the most realistic, because you do see where if you do have the the clutch boost, you can hit some, some pretty crazy lines. So... I mean, the 50 isn't necessarily the most realistic version of itself, but it was tough to get the, you know, to hit the, the clutch boost just right. And when you case stuff, it's not like you're just going to preload your way out of it or clutch boost your way out of it like in Encore. It was tough. It was a very difficult 50 to use. And so... I love it for that, and when you actually do hit some of those huge, insane lines, it was really fun. It was really fun. It wasn't realistic, but it was very fun. Now, if you didn't clutch boost, then the bike felt a whole lot more realistic, and maybe even more realistic than any other version in any other game, if you don't use the boost, and for sure not uh, clutch master. So, kind of a torn in between it does have a very realistic feel but then it has that really crazy i mean we're, we're hitting huge supercross triples and over jumping and flat landing just like uh, a lot of the other games so insane it was really fun to use it was very difficult it's uh i already mentioned it but i don't really have a best to worst here list i just have my favorite one which i already said was untamed this one is equal to any of the other ones it, it just it's for different reasons i guess the thing that sucked, I guess, was that you could really only use it in the Stuart compound. So if you didn't have the Stuart compound, you couldn't even use the 50. And you can only ride it in or at the compound in free ride. I wish you could have used it in other maps. You know, that's, I guess, being kind of picky. So here is the 50cc from MX versus ATV Alive. And last but not least is the 50 from Encore. This is the most unrealistic arcade 50 from any MX versus ATV game. Basically, just use the automatic transmission and clutch boost. Just mash the clutch like you would the, the quad. You can pretty much do anything. It's basically god mode. Don't really crash. Um... It's insane. It's super fun. I remember streaming this game all the time, like in 2017 when the replicas came out and stream for hours and days and it was so much fun and you guys would ask to see the 50 and have me try to use the 50 against the guys using 450s. And while it might not be competitive against the 450 or a really good quad player, it's fast. I mean, if you're mashing the clutch, and I know I have the HUD off, but I mean, I'm just constantly mashing down on the clutch to go fast to hit these lines. You get this insane boost. So it's similar to Alive, but 
different because you have a constant boost. It doesn't have to load up. And you could crash in a live still. You, you really just don't in this game. We're free riding Copper Canyon here. And we're just, I mean, obnoxious, right? Obnoxious jumps. And we're just flat landing these babies like no tomorrow, you know? We're sending it like it's our last jump ever. It, it just, it's fun. It's really fun, but it's the most arcadey. I said I wasn't going to have a least favorite. I feel like this maybe is my least favorite, which is funny because this is my second favorite MX vs. ATV game. I know it might be a little bit controversial because I did that on my list, but it really is. I really did grow to enjoy this game, and I feel like there actually was skill gap to getting good at the game. And I know we're sidetracking a little bit from 50s in this video, but that's kind of how I feel about it. And it's funny because I feel like the 50... I mean, there is some skill here, but, you know, just to, to know when to do it or to even know that it's best to run it in auto and mash the clutch, I guess, is a trick. But if you know that, there isn't a ton of skill involved. So, yeah, I mean, it's fun, and I enjoy every version of the 50. Please don't uh, misinterpret that, that I enjoy every version of the 50. I'm begging you, Rainbow Studios, MX vs. ATV, to put the 50 in any future game you decide to do. We all love it. it it's grown on us. And to see it, you know, make uh, select appearances is a bummer. So hopefully we get more 50s in the future. Let me know what your guys' uh, favorite 50 was in any MX vs. ATV game. I'm pretty sure I'm not missing any. I believe it was only four titles. I know Supercross had it too, but we're not counting that because Supercross is just a very inferior version of Supercross Encore. So let me know what your guys' favorite was from any MX vs. ATV game. I was thinking about doing possibly the 650 or the 500. Similar to this video, if it's something you want to see, leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments. Yes, we want to see it. If not, this was just a... Kind of a fun video. Hopefully it gets out for the new year. If it doesn't, it'll be shortly after. So uh, happy new year, guys. Uh, late Merry Christmas. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. Here's to a, a good 2020. And until the next video, take it easy.